my channel. I'm Abby Nicole and this is Addie. And today we're making Addie's second birthday cake. Enough talking, let's get started. So I would like to apologize in advance. I did not realize how off center I was and I didn't notice till I started editing. So I did the best I could to center it. But anyways, moving on. So right now I am making my buttercream. For this, I use one cup of unsalted butter, three cups of powdered sugar, two to three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and one pinch of salt to adjust the taste. And every time I make a cake, I always use a ton of buttercream, so I always double the recipe just to be on the safe side. And now I'm gonna stack all my cake layers, and in between each layer, I'm going to put buttercream frosting. And basically, once all the layers are stacked, then you do a crumb coat, and that is the coat before you actually do the frosting. And let's not forget, I am not a professional baker, so if I am doing this all wrong, or if my technique is terrible, please do not judge me. I am doing the best that I can. Once you're done with your crumb coat, you're going to want to put it in the fridge and let it chill for about 15 to 20 minutes till it's firm to the touch. So I saw this style on TikTok done by this girl named Chelsea and it looked super nice when it was finished and it looked super easy as she was doing it. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to give this a shot. And hopefully it comes out because if not, then I have ruined my child's second birthday cake and no mother wants to live with that for the rest of their life. And then basically once you're done putting all the little dots, you just smooth it all out and combine all the colors and hopefully it creates this like color ombre scheme, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to go ahead and call it my pink and purple ombre cake. Now remember, I am not a baker. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm really just winging all of this. Now please excuse the cake base that I have. I completely forgot to buy one, so I just made one last minute, put some wrapping paper on it, and called it a day. But overall, I decided to add a few little decorations on it so it didn't look super boring. I don't think it came out too bad. There's some things that I would change about it, like that I would fix, but for my first time doing this kind of style, I don't think it's too shabby. And that's the end of our video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified every time I upload a video. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to Abby!